with seven running backs drafted in the first two rounds and several others in position to make significant contributions in 2018. NFL Nation is looking at which rookie is in the best position to make an immediate impact. Saquon Barkley was drafted at number two overall. But it don't sleep on Darius Geis or Royce Freeman. And fantasy owners will want to know if they can finally trust Patriots coach Bill Belichick to lean on one running back enough to justify a high pick. Will Sony Michel be the rare, reliable Patriots fantasy back? We have the intel on the rookie running back class from team writers, as well as ESPN fantasy football expert Mike Clay's 2018 projections for each rookie. Washington might have gotten a steal in round two with Darius Geis, but the Giants and Patriots took first round running backs who will play early and often. As for New York Giants Saquon Barkley, round 1, no, to overall projected 2018 stats, 1,133 yards rushing, 7 rushing TDs, 60 receptions, 533 yards receiving, 3 receiving to Cespin Giants reporter Jordan Ranan, get ready for a heavy dose of Barkley, beginning in week 1. The Giants drafted him number two overall for a reason. Barkley is receiving plenty of reps this offseason with the first team offense, and his role is only likely to increase as the summer progresses. He's going to be a major factor in the passing game, whether it's screens to get him into open space or when he lines up as a wide receiver to exploit matchups against linebackers or safeties. That area of his game route running and hands, impressed coach Pat Irma from the start. Barkley's biggest challenge, like most running backs, will be as a pass blocker, Sherma said this is the most difficult aspect for rookies, they are going to see blitzes and schemes they've never seen before. But Barkley has been picking everything else up quickly, so this is likely not far behind. Seattle Seahawks Rashad Penny, Round 1, No. 27 Overall Projected 2018 Stats, 964 Yards Rushing, 6 Rushing TDs, 30 Receptions, 247 Yards Receiving, 1 Receiving to Dispen Seahawks writer Brady Henderson, but the Seahawks drafted Penny 27th Overall, despite great needs at other positions suggests he not only should make a significant contribution in 2018, but that there's a good chance he becomes the starter during his rookie season. That won't be easy, though. It will require supplanting Chris Carson, who appears to be fully recovered after an ankle-slash-leg injury ended his promising rookie season early, and the Seahawks also have made no secret of the fact Penny, like many rookie running backs, will have to show he can be trusted as a blocker. General Manager John Schneider said, he knows he has a lot of work to do in pass protection and he's been adamant about that. He knows that he has to get to work on that. New England Patriots Sony Michel, Round 1, No. 31 Overall Projected 2018 Stats, 897 Yards Rushing, 8 Rushing TDs, 27 Receptions, 219 Yards Receiving, 1 Receiving to Dispen Patriots Reporter Mike Rice, the Georgia product will make an immediate impact and it could be sizable, because he has a legitimate chance to be the Patriots' no. One running back outside of injury, which applies to any player, the two main things that could hold him back are ball security, 12 fumbles in his college career, and the Patriots' history of rotating running backs. New England resigned running back Rex Burkhead to a three-year, $9.75 million deal with the intention of having him on the field as well, and James White remains the top passing back. Cleveland Browns Nick Chubb, Round 2, No. 35 Overall Projected 2018 Stats, 664 Yards Rushing, 5 Rushing TDs, 12 Receptions, 89 Yards Receiving, 0 Receiving to Cespin Browns Reporter Pat McManaman, It's early in the process, but Chubb has a chance to be the Browns' starting running back. Chubb's between-the-tackles ability and his work ethic will earn him a long look in training camp and preseason. It would not be surprising to see Chubb get the bulk of the every down carries, especially early in games. The competition will be intriguing. The Browns did sign Carlos Hyde to go with Duke Johnson, in addition to drafting Chubb. But Hyde's tough running would be valuable in short yardage, red zone and fourth quarter situations, assuming the Browns have games when they are protecting a late lead. Johnson's role won't change, he'll be the change of pace back the weapon out of the backfield. Tampa Bay Buccaneers Ronald Jones 2, Round 2, No. 
38 overall projected 2018 stats, 972 yards rushing, 4 rushing TDs, 35 receptions, 281 yards receiving, 1 receiving to Cespin Buccaneers reporter Jenna Lane, the Bucks believe they have found the home run threat in Jones that they had lacked over the past two years. The Bucks were the only team in the NFL last year that did not produce an explosive rushing touchdown, with explosive defined as a rushing play of 12 yards or more. In fact, with Doug Martin, Jaquiz Rogers, Peyton Barber, and Charles Sims, the Bucks had one explosive rushing touchdown in the past two years, the fewest of any team in the league. Jones's 19 rushing touchdowns in 2017 were tied for fifth most in college football. Jones had 39 rushing touchdowns in 40 career games at Southern California, with 18 of them coming off explosive plays. You can see the guy has got juice, Bucks coach Dirk Cota said. When he touches the ball, he's got a gear that we don't have on our team right now. Barber started four games for the Bucks last year, so he also will challenge for a starting role, while Rodgers and Sims will battle for the third down job. Detroit Lions carry on Johnson, round 2, no, 43 overall projected 2018 stats, 648 yards rushing, 4 rushing TDs, 30 receptions, 240 yards receiving, 1 receiving to Dustin Lions reporter Michael Rothstein, the Lions are trying to rehabilitate the worst running game in the league and have spent most of the team's draft capital doing so, taking a pair of offensive linemen, a fullback and, perhaps most importantly, running back carry on Johnson in the second round, there's little question Johnson will have a role, as a rookie, although what that ends up being could evolve throughout the season, Detroit signed veteran LeGarrett Blunt in the offseason and he should get some early down work as well as short yardage carries, Theo Redick remains one of the game's top pass catching running backs. Amir Abdullah, the last back Detroit invested a second round pick in, in 2015, is on the roster, as well, and has looked as sharp, but Johnson's skill set is a combination of all of theirs, so there will be competition, but Johnson is expected to have no worse than a timeshare role with Blunt and Redick. If he emerges as a back who can handle the work, he could push at least Blunt into a lesser role. As the season moves on, Saquon Barkley, Rashad Penny and Sony Michel will have their work cut out to match the rookie production of the past four running backs taken in the first round. Leonard Fournette, 2017, fourth overall, he was the second Jaguars rookie with 1,000 rushing yards. Fred Taylor in 1998, and became the youngest player in NFL history with a 90-yard rushing TD, Week 5 at Pittsburgh. Christian McCaffrey, 2017, 8th overall. He joined fellow rookie Alvin Kamara as the only rookie airbase in NFL history with 80 receptions and 5 receiving TDs. Ezekiel Elliott, 2016, 4th overall. His 1,631 yards rushing were the third most by any rookie in NFL history. He was named first team All Pro. Todd Gurley II, 2015, 10th overall. He was the offensive rookie of the year with 1,106 yards rushing, third most in the NFL. Information provided by ESPN Stats and Info Washington Redskins Darius Geis, Round 2, No. 59 overall projected 2018 stats, 998 yards rushing, 7 rushing TDs, 25 receptions, 209 yards receiving, 1 receiving to Dispen Redskins reporter John Kime, Geis will make a big impact from the get-go, the Redskins made it clear they wanted to upgrade the running back position, aside from third down back Chris Thompson, so it would be surprising if someone other than Geis opened the season as a starter, he runs with violence and can create extra yards because of his style, something the Redskins have wanted. Geis's main on-field obstacle will be the passing game. LSU did not incorporate its backs in the pass game like other schools. Geis showed good hands when needed, but to become a productive every down back, he'll also have to handle the protections, both in terms of understanding where blitzers are coming from and then from executing. Denver Broncos Royce Freeman, Round 3, No. 71 overall projected 2018 stats, 942 yards rushing, 6 rushing TDs, 31 receptions, 247 yards receiving, 1 receiving to Dispen Broncos reporter Jeff Legworld. 
the rap on Freeman before the draft was that he had too much production in his four years as a starter at Oregon, three 1,300-yard rushing seasons to go with a 945-yard season, on 947 carries over four years, might be a little too much wear and tear. But the Broncos see a 229-pound back with 4.54-second speed in the 40-yard dash. Freeman will push for plenty of playing time against Devon T. Booker, coach Vance Joseph said. It's hard to evaluate a running back without pads, but you can see the cutting ability. You can see the vision he has when he's carrying the football. He catches the ball well. Also, at minimum, Freeman projects to split some carries, but his size-speed combination could earn him far more. Indianapolis Colts Neheim Hines, Round 4, No. 104 Overall Projected 2018 Stats, 220 Yards Rushing, 1 Rushing TD, 25 Receptions, 207 Yards Receiving, 1 Receiving to Dispen Colts Report to Mike Wells, Hines isn't expected to be the Colts' primary running back, Marlon Mack is the early leader for the troll, but the fourth-round pick from North Carolina State will be part of what likely will be a running back by committee approach, coach Frank Reich used a similar approach as offensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles last season. Hines' versatility fits perfectly into Reich's system, which puts a heavy emphasis on exploiting mismatches. Hines, who compares himself to Darren Sproles, can be used in motion and lined up as a receiver against linebackers. Hines played receiver in his first two years at North Carolina State. He rushed for 1,113 yards while averaging 5.6 yards a carry in his loan season as a running back last year. Hines also will get the first shot at being the team's punt and kick return specialist. Miami Dolphins Kalen Borlage, Round 4, No. 131 Overall Projected 2018 Stats, 115 Yards Rushing, 1 Rushing TD, 9 Receptions, 68 Yards Receiving, 0 Receiving to Cespin Report to Mike Rodick, weighing 200 28 pounds and having run a 4.46 second 40 yard dash at the NFL combine, Borlage checks all the boxes from a size and athletic ability standpoint. He fell to the fourth round in part because of his lack of top level production at Arizona State, where he split carries. He will face a similar obstacle as a rookie in Miami behind the ascending Kenyan Drake and the ageless Frank Gore, so it is difficult to project Borlage making significant contributions in his first NFL season. His best path to playing time will be Gore showing enough signs of decline at 35 for Borlage to receive the short yardage reps that might otherwise be allocated.